Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rooker Films and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Premiere Pro to export your wide videos into square videos. So once you've got Adobe Premiere Pro loaded up and you have your footage imported, you need to create a brand new sequence. So we'll go up to File, New Sequence. And in New Sequence we want to go over to Settings. Now in Settings we're going to change the Editing Mode to Custom. We'll set the time base to the frames per second that we shot the footage in. So in this example, that is 23.976 frames per second. And then we'll change the frame size. This is the most important part. We'll change the frame size to 1080 by 1080. And on the right here, you should see one by one. This means the aspect ratio is set to one by one, meaning the width and the height are both the exact same size. Now from here, we can change the pixel aspect ratio to square pixels, change the fields to a no fields progressive scan and the display format to 23.976 frames per second timecode. And then we can just rename the sequence and drop the footage into this new sequence. Now, when we drop this footage in, we will be given this clip mismatch warning. And that is because the clip is shot in 1920 by 1080 and the composition is 1080 by 1080. So all we need to do to avoid this is just press keep existing settings and that will not change anything to the footage. Now that's the basics of how you make a square video, but because we've lost the left and the right of the video, we're losing part of the footage. So we can animate the position, we can create some keyframes to animate this from left to right. So in the motion tab, we're gonna pull the position all the way over to the right at the very beginning of the clip, and we'll create a brand new keyframe on the position. Now we'll play the footage, and when I start to disappear out of the frame, I'm just gonna pause the video, and we'll pull the position of the video clip over towards the left to recenter me in the video. Now we'll carry on playing and we'll do the exact same thing towards the end of the video clip. We'll pull that over to the left and then I'm going to select all of these keyframes created. Right click on this, go into temporal interpolation and press ease in. This means when the position changes in the video, the animation will be done very gradually rather than aggressively. This basically makes it look a lot smoother and a lot more seamless and it makes it look like this was part of the original camera movements. Now, as soon as you've done that and you're happy with that, we just need to export this out of Premiere. So we go up to File, Export Media, and when Export Media loads up, you just want to double check in the basic video settings that both the width and the height are both set to 1080. And then as soon as this is good to go, you can just press Export and upload this to all your favorite social media websites. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe by pressing that circle icon up there. And also, don't forget to check out the previous video by clicking this rectangle icon just down here.